Hey guys, so I didn't really want to deal with the stress or the cost of hiring a professional photographer, but I did want memories of my bum. So I kind of did some playing around, some research this weekend, and came up with a great at-home attorney photo shoot. I'm Elle, and I'm passionate about filmmaking and finding ways to be a great mom. Okay, so I tried five different types of photos. Partner shot, a silhouette, a belly, a selfie, and an outdoor. And normally you will not catch me without my belly covered. This is my one-piece bathing suit, but I think maternity photo shoots are the one exception, so I did bare my belly in a lot of these. Okay, so first the partner photos. It is like pulling teeth to get Ross to take photos. He hates it, so this was clutch. I picked this up, a $29 remote for my Canon T3i. Okay, testing. It's alive. So basically instead of setting the timer and running around, we could just get cozy and comfortable and in less than five minutes take a bunch of photos. What do you think? It's good. Easy, easy. Okay. I really like these in black and white. I know it's a little cheesy, but it brings back memories of being in comfy clothes, chilling on the bed. Now if only we had a remote for taking off Ross's hat. Okay, number two, the silhouette. I love this shot. It was taken the night before I went into labor with Presley, and I love that timing because I, I seriously think I'm that big right now, and it's kind of fun to compare belly size. Getting no sleep at night, so we're hoping Peanut will make her debut. Hopefully her name's Presley. Bye bye soon. And the key is to go in front of a light source and then turn the flash off on your camera. And what it does is erase any veins, stretch marks, uh, lack of makeup, so you could do this with very little preparation. So belly, I'm not a huge fan of just belly shots because I'm like, that could be anyone's belly in the photo. But I did run across a few online with props that I thought were kind of cute. And I thought, well, maybe if I involve Presley, I'll actually like the shot. And so I made up these little name tags. And it turned out to be genius because it gave her something to do. She ended up writing on them. Otherwise, I don't think she would have stood there. And I just really love this shot. I hope she likes it, like, years from now. What are you drawing on there? Hey, bye. <gasps> Selfie. I just wanted to do something natural, no touch up that I could look back on. And man, did I realize the importance of natural lighting. If you can get yourself in front of a window, even if you were cramped between your bed and a wall, do it. Everything will look so much better. I also noticed that profile is much more flattering than straight on. Maybe it's just me, I have really broad shoulders. And that I am very awkward with props. I tried to hold up the baby's lovey and it looked like I was like proudly showing off roadkill. And finally, outdoor. I actually think this is the hardest type to get without a professional. And also, again, with a husband that does not like to take photos. So the only thing I really like about these is the park that we play in. That's the street that we live on. And then I got this one where I was holding Presley. And even though it was just a practice one, I, that is kind of how I'll remember my pregnancy, holding her on one arm. So I guess I like that shot. They're not perfect, but they got done. So that's it, except I do have a question for you guys. Does anyone have a great program or method for organizing their photos on their computer? Because sometimes it gets so overwhelming. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for everyone who signed up for In The Womb. It's so exciting to read your notes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the info in the description. See you guys next week. Bye. Presley, are you photoshopping?